So today I am making crazy spirals in Google SketchUp. And I am going to start with a 10 foot circle. Then using the line tool I'm going to cut out one of the uh, segments of that circle and select it. And then uh, using the shift key and the select tool we select away the things we don't want. So I push pull up that little wedge that I left and I make it a component. And I draw this little diagonal line here on the side and I make that a component. That's very important. And now I select both of those components and I make it a larger component. So that line on the side of that little step is very important. That and rotate a copy of it around once. Then I push 23x and I get that. It rotated around enough copies to complete the whole circle. Then using the move tool and the control key, move it up once, push 11x, and now I have this cylinder. And using the select tool again, I select a any one of these spirals. It doesn't matter. Just pick one at the bottom and follow it all the way around, all the way to the top. And using that uh, shift key and select tool, we again delete the things we don't want. So now we have half of a spiral. And we select everything and we move another copy up and rotate it into place. Now we don't care about these steps at all. We've made a really nice spiral staircase, but we don't care about them. They are just like uh, construction blocks. We're going to delete them. So let's do that now. I select everything and explode it once. So now everything is split up into those two components that I made in the beginning. One is a step and the other is the line tool, the little line that I made. And I select everything and I go to my top view and again using that select tool and the shift key, I select everything I don't want. So I cut away the spiral, delete all of the steps, and then paste in place the spiral again. And you see it's left here perfectly intact where it was. So next I want to uh, have some more fun. So let's make copies of these. I'm going to move it up and push 12x. So that should give us a whole lot of spiral. Let's see what that looks like here. Okay. Now that is just our construction line. We're not done yet. That's not our final product. So how do we make our final product? Well, we have to make a surface that needs to be vertical. And that has to happen on the blue axis, that means. So I draw a line. And then using the arc tool, I make a half circle. Now I select everything again and expand. Load. And because those were in, uh, the spiral was in the components, it remained selected. So that conveniently becomes my follow me path. And I use the follow me tool and I click on this little surface I just created and you see we now have our crazy spiral. So let's uh, hide away that uh, construction line and see what we've got. Now you see it's uh, spinning crazily, it's flipping over on itself, it's spiraling within the spiral. Pretty neat. Okay, so that's it. As always, you can uh, go to sketchyquestions.blogspot.com or you can send me your sketchy questions to manofskill at gmail.com.